Welcome back everyone to video number two in our Let's Play series of Force of Nature. Now in our first video, we got uh, going with some of the basics, which including gathering some initial resources and making some basic tools, which include a stone ax, a stone pick, a digging stick, and some basic items that will regenerate health and our stamina. So in this video, we're going to continue on with the quest system and hopefully continue to level up, maybe uh, do some fighting and, and that kind of thing. So let's go ahead and get started, take a quick look at our quest, and we're going to create a coal smoker and then have our first battle. So we'll be venturing out into the map a little bit to start to battle some of the enemies that we find. So, But first, we want to create a coal smoker, and for that, we're going to come in under our crafting, excuse me, build menu, and coal smoker, and what do we need for that? We need logs, which we've got, we need clay, and we need sand, a lot of sand. So let's go ahead and get some clay and some sand. So we've got our digger tool in our hand, and we'll go ahead and take care of the, I believe, five clay that we need. So there's two. We'll go ahead and get a couple more of those, and then we'll head down to the beach to take care of the sand that we need. All right, so where we are on the map right now is, of course, uh, near the water. We're near the, the edge, and that would be a sort of an easy part. Uh, the only animals we see around here are some rabbits, and, of course, they're not... Um, any danger to us, but as we venture out into other parts of the map, we're going to find that that's definitely not going to be the case. We're going to have uh, things like bears and wolves and whatnot that will be looking to attack us around every corner. All right, I've not been keeping track, so let's go ahead and see where we are with relation to that. And for that, we'll come back into the build mode and see that we need four more sand. Okay. So sand it is. So, so far we've been doing the sort of the introductory type tasks, gathering the basic of resources and creating the basics as far as tools go. And then as we go along, we'll be able to upgrade those tools and upgrade those buildings. Okay, I think that's actually one more than we needed. Let's come back into our build menu, coal smoker, and sure enough, we've got the amount we need. And so let's go ahead and select that. Now, before we do that, something I've learned from doing the introductory video and playing a little bit in the game is we need to, before we get ready to build something, we need to have an idea of where we want to put it and the orientation. And the reason is it's kind of a pain to start rotating the screen and rotating objects once you've already got them built. And I'll show you what I mean when we place this coal smoker. So now, as soon as I choose select, now, I can, I can still rotate by holding down the space bar, which is what I will do, but it is not the most, uh, not the easiest thing to do for sure. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and space these out just a little bit, and we'll go ahead and place it down right there, and we'll see that it will go ahead and start building. Okay, what are we going to need after this? We're going to need to make some coal in here, which will be no problem. We'll take care of that. And then our first battle. And it lets us know that what we need for that is we're going to need to either make our, uh, our cudgel or we're going to make a stone mace. Now, we'll take a look at in deciding which one of those we need by how much damage and how quickly they attack. But for now, let's go ahead and click on our coal smoker and see what kind of recipes we have. And we've got two options here. We can make coal one at a time by using sticks and glowing embers, or we can make it five at a time by using one log and two embers. So this is our best bet, and right now we're gonna go ahead and do that and make all of this we can, which will give us a total of 10. Let's see how many we need. Okay, we need 20, so I'm gonna need a few more logs and then also I'm going to need some more embers. We've got plenty of sticks, so let's go ahead and select that. 
and we're going to make nine embers because no harm in having a little bit extra. Okay, with that in mind, I'm going to click on number one, which is our stone axe. So while everything is working, I'm going to go ahead and start chopping on this tree. Now, I'm going to go ahead and, and start working on clearing out this general area so that we can, as time goes on, we can continue to build in this area. Uh, so that's what I'll be working on as far as deciding where I want to clear out and which trees I want to chop. All right, let's go ahead and chop here. Now, I'm, I'm not going to chop in certain areas because they provide a barrier to sort of keep the bad guys away from us from right now. While we work on some things, and one of those areas is right over there. And if we come in and take a look at our map, in that area over there, when we first spawned in and I was walking around, I saw uh, some markers over there, some red dots, which would indicate that we have enemies over in that area. Okay, let's see what we've got. Our coal smoker is busy working, 54% there. And our bonfire, it says it's at 25% now, but of course, it's already uh, busy at work. Now, in case you're wondering, uh, why don't we just build multiple coal smokers? Well, we will. That's one of the things that we'll do as uh, time goes along. We'll have multiple of each of these. Now, let's take a look at, while we're at it, what do we need for a blast furnace? We're going to need some stone, clay, and sand. All right, let's go ahead and I'm going to choose number two, which is our axe. All right, with our pick selected. Wow, that didn't take long at all. So we got a couple of stone there. At least I think they were stone. I didn't see any difference in texture that would indicate that maybe those were actually uh, iron ore. So unfortunately, these are finite resources. They will go away as we use them, uh, as you've already seen with that first smaller boulder. As we use the pick on these, they will definitely... Uh, use up the supply. We're going to go ahead and eat a banana to restore some of our stamina and try to combat all of this that we're losing. Now, you can sort of see the difference in texture here. The lighter color would be the stone. The darker color would be the iron ore. All right, let's continue. We should be fairly close to using this particular boulder up, and sure enough, there we are. All right, let's Take a quick look under the build menu, blast furnace. Okay, we got enough stone. Now we need some clay and sand. And of course, we know that we can take care of that pretty easily. We'll use our digging stick and we're right here next to a good source of clay. All right, so that's three. And I've forgotten how many we need. We'll have to look here in just a second. That's five and under the build menu we need five so now we'll head over and get some more sand all right so our coal smoker now is done creating the first batch of coal we'll need some more in order to complete our quest but for now so far so good one of the things i've noticed about uh, this game is i really like the way they've done the water. Uh, it's, it looks very nice to me. Some of the other textures uh, maybe could use a little bit of work, but I, I really like um, what they've done with, with the water. All right, let's head back over. looks like we're done with our blast furnace. And we're going to try to space these things out again a little bit uh, because these icons, you can see how they start to overlap. And let's, let's get this stuff out. So we get the nine there. And take all of those. And let's go ahead and get started with some more there. If, if I remember correctly, we needed 20. So we're going to make 10 more. That should give us our 20. And in the bonfire, because we always need it, we're going to go ahead and get uh, glowing ember. Let's go ahead and make six of those, and we'll let it start working. 
All right, let's come back into our build menu, blast furnace. So we've got everything we need. And let's go ahead. You can see it is quite a bit bigger than the other. And let's go ahead and put it down right there. And we can see that it is already in progress. Now, if we come back to our quest, we're almost done here with the coal. So in our to-do list, oops, in our to-do list, we need the first battle. So which one of these are we going to make? Let's take a quick look at which one would be most effective for us in combat. So under our crafting menu, recipes, and let's see, the cudgel, 15 damage, 0.63 attack speed, or the mace, 20 damage, 0.63. Okay, so it looks like the mace is going to be our best option. Uh, we need a little bit more rope before we can make this. That's no problem. We'll come in here. We've got plenty of palm leaves for this. And in fact, we're going to go ahead and make three because we're going to be using rope continually. And it doesn't take very long at all to make. Okay, we'll go ahead and take all of those. Get back into our crafting menu. Choose our stone mace. Select that and go ahead and make one. Now you can see that's going to take a little bit of time. So let's quickly check up. Oh, our blast furnace is almost done. So we'll have a chance here to see what we're going to need. All right, we're going to need a tool to place in here. Uh, and let's see, iron ingots. We've got iron ore right now. And so what are we going to need? Well, we've got glowing embers, coal, and then iron ore. So we've got all the ingredients we need to get started making ingots. But we're going to need a melting pot or a steel melting pot. Um, I doubt we're going to be able to make steel melting pot for a, quite a while. But a melting pot, I believe we can make. For that, let's come under crafting. And let's see, can we make it here? Nope, can't make it there. What about in our bonfire? There we go, melting pot. What do we need for that? We need more clay. All right, with that in mind, we'll head back over to the beach and get some more clay. Looks like our stone mace is done. And so we'll get five more. Oh, wait, was that clay or sand? I'm... Oops. Let's go back. Now I'm wondering, was that clay or sand? You get so many things on your mind, you forget which one it actually told you. All right, so which one we need? Okay, clay. I was kind of thinking that was going to be the answer. All right, this should be a pretty good spot right here, so we didn't have to go very far. So we'll here very shortly, we'll have our melting pot. And you can easily see how things start to really mount up and we get our basic tools and our basic structures in place. All right, so now that we know our weapon is done, our stone mace should be under our crafting menu. And sure enough, there it is. We'll go ahead and take that, put it in our inventory. And then I'm going to map it to number four. So now we have four tools, the stone ax, the stone pick, a digging stick, and the stone mace. Okay, it looks like our bonfire is almost done here. And sure enough, we'll take our melting pot, come over to our blasting furnace, and take a look at our recipes. Okay, so we've got everything we need to go ahead and get started. Select our tool. And it says it'll take about 50 seconds to make one of these. We've got enough resources to make two right now. And let's see, what are we lacking to make more? Because I knew we had more iron ore. Okay, coal. So we'll need more coal and more glowing embers. Well, no problem. Just so happens that we know just how to do that. And let's see, sticks. Yeah, we can always get more sticks. So let's just make as many of these embers as we can and the coal is now done let's go ahead and get started with more of that and we'll make as many as we can of course 
you can see that the glowing embers are used in multiple of these recipes. So we'll need to keep a steady supply of that going. All right, so our blast furnace is done with our first iron ingot. And now it's going to get started on the second one. In the meantime, as the rain continues to pour down on us, let's go ahead and uh, the good thing so far that I like about the game is these, these tools don't have any durability. Once you've got a tool, you're good to go, so you don't have to really worry about rationing out your tools and how often you use them and what you use them on. All right. Okay, that'll give us a few more there. And then we are going to head down in this direction and see if we can find some more sticks. In fact, let's see what happens if we try to chop down the sunflowers. All right, so we get some seeds there. Let's see what that sunflower seeds. Yeah, there we go. So we can actually eat those if we want to. I'm wondering if we can't plant those because what I'm thinking is, if you notice here, that could make a really good barrier since I can't walk through those. So that's what I'm thinking. Over here, it looks like we got some bushes that will give us some sticks. There we go. Here's where the camera begins to be a little bit of an issue. Because I can't really see in here. It tries to get rid of some of the trees that are blocking my path. But there's only so much of that that it can do. Let's see, what are... Okay, I thought I saw something laying down in there. Must not have. All right, let's take a quick look at our map. Let's see, there's the items that we've made. And it looks like our path through is going to be, there's a, a nice open area over there. And we know for our quest line that what remains is our first battle. We've got our mace, our stone mace in slot number four. So we need to collect 15 copper coins and five gold coins. And we're going to get those by beating the enemies. All right, let's make sure that I'm going the right direction. And it indeed looks like I am. And already you can see the red dots here. Let's go ahead and spin around. Looks like this is our quickest way through the path of least resistance, that is. Okay, so we'll go ahead and work our way through here. And pick up all these sunflower seeds. And then we'll see what sort of enemies we meet along the way. And hopefully these enemies will give us the coins we need so that we can level up. The key for us is going to be here at the beginning, especially that we don't eat, we don't meet uh, any more enemies than we can handle at one time. Looks like, oh wow, there's a bunch over here. Okay, this may have been a bad idea. Let's go ahead, get out of there. Make sure we've got, yeah, there we go. We are we are very low on stamina, so I'm going to go ahead and eat a banana or two before we get too far. I can't really see because of the camera what's going on as far as which enemies there are. For instance, if we see a bear over here, we are in no shape right now to tangle with a bear. Now, I think we could defeat the bear, but it would take a lot of our health. All right, so a lot of our stamina you can see is coming back. All right, we're in, we're in good shape there. So now let's wander over a little bit, and it looks like we've got a couple of goblins. All right, let's see if we can just attract one of them at a time. All right, so we've, there we go. All right, so that's two wax at him. It looks like three wax will take care of him. All right, let's see if we can get just inside. Let's see, there's one right here. All right, now we've alerted him. And our swing speed is fairly small, or fairly short, I mean. 
All right, so now what have we gotten? We've gotten three copper coins, so no gold coins yet. And wow, there are just a ton of them. But if we had this direction, it looked like there was one by himself. Hopefully that wasn't a bear. All right, you can die, of course, in this game, being a survival game. Oh, okay, here he comes. I knew I heard him, but I couldn't see him. And being dark doesn't help. All right, I believe that was another copper coin. Let's take a look at our map. Looks like we've got another bunch over here. And there is a nice array of stone over here. That is for sure. I like that. Excellent. While I'm over here, tell you what, let's go ahead and get some of these sticks because these bushes are perfect. Might as well be productive while we're over here trying to pick a fight. Okay, let's go ahead and equip our mace once again. Take a look at, let's see, we need to head the other direction. Looks like right there would be perfect. Now, the question is, they're behind this. Oh, it looks like they're actually up on top. Okay, and we are very close to being in a mess here. Oh, here he comes. So we've gotten him. We're close. The idea is to fight these guys one at a time. All right, let's head over a little bit in this direction. Here he comes. Woo, that is, I always like it whenever you can get them when two licks. All right, so now we're up to eight copper and one gold. Okay, so again, the idea is to try to trigger them one at a time. And here he comes. So, so far, so good. Start our swing a little bit early. And three swings, and he's done. All right. There comes one. Oh, I was worried there that I might have scared up more than one to come at us. Okay, so far so good. We'll eat another banana, restore some stamina. Now we're up to 12 and 1. And I see another guy over there. Let's see if we can trigger him. Yep, here he comes. And catch him a nice couple of whacks and now he's down for the count so one at a time is really working well so far not sure how long that is going to keep up oh there's a nice nice solid whack on the first one there all right so i believe that was a gold coin yes so what do we need here we are right, we've got the copper we need we just need two more gold coins and then we'll be done Let's see. Oh, here he comes. He's already been alerted. All these guys, of course, are level one. And that, unfortunately, was copper and not gold. All right. So now we got the next guy. Start our swing early. And try to take him down. All right. There's a gold coin. So just one more of those. And we should be in good shape. Eat the other banana. And let's eat... Also, uh, maybe a strawberry or two and get our health back up a little bit before we continue on. Go ahead and eat one more strawberry and get our health going. Okay, so it looks like we've got one more enemy over here to trigger. There he is. There we go. And unfortunately, yep, that's what I thought. He gave us a copper coin which is not what we need. Let's see, where's our next enemy? I was going to say, according to the map, he ought to be right here, and sure enough, there he is. All right, inventory. Yep, I was worried about that. So once again, we're not having any luck. We need that gold coin. So maybe this guy's going to be the one to give it to us. 
almost got him in two and that once again looked like a copper coin and was let's see if this is going to be the lucky guy who's going to give us what we need and once again more copper coins again i have no idea what we're going to do with these oh and i hear a cow Unfortunate. There we go. There's our gold coin. Wow, this guy, we're over here with this guy. We might as well go ahead and get him too. I see a boar over there that which will also attack us. All right, let's go ahead and head back in this direction. I'll bring up the map. And this is basically the straightest path back to where we came from. We'll see. Yeah, there we go. There's our path that we made through. While I'm here, might as well get some more sticks from this bush. All right. So we're in good shape so far. Let's go ahead and check our quest line, get a new level. So we finished up everything. And let's go ahead and head back over to our, our base. All right, so go ahead and collect everything that we've created. Okay, good. So now our bonfire, we'll go ahead and get going some more. We see we've got plenty of sticks so that we can make plenty of burning embers, plenty of coal. Go ahead and get started on some more of that. And do we have any more iron left? Yes, we do. We absolutely do. We can make three more of those. So every, we'll just keep everything going. And in the meantime, let's come into our characteristics and see that we are level three. But we're ready for our next level. And what do we need? Oh, before we can do that, we need four more gold coins. Now, how about that? We were just over there. And this thing told us that we could come back because we had everything that we needed. And now, as it turns out, we do not. So we'll go ahead and head back over here. And it looks like the sun is out, but at the same time, it is also raining. Let's go ahead and pull up and see what kind of enemies we get. Remember, the only enemies we really care about are the ones that are going to give us gold coins. Because that is where we are right now. Let's see. It looks like we're on a bit of a ledge here. Have to see how we can get down from that. All right. So far. All right. Here we go. Now we're getting into some enemies. Again, the, the blips on the map tell you that there is an enemy there. But it looks like one of these at least is a boar. Oh, and there's a bear. All right, so you can see, this will give you an opportunity to see how much damage these animals do. All right, he's going to run away. All right, now I would really like to stay away from that bear if we can. All right, looks like we've got some over in this area. Okay, I thought maybe I heard the sound of the bear. thought maybe he might be coming in our direction. Also hear a dog. Oh, there we go. Oh my goodness, now we got a dog and a bear. This is not good. Oh, and we didn't quite make it. Wow, okay. So we lost a bunch of items. It looks like most of this stuff we don't really care that much about. I hate to lose the ingot. And the sunflower seeds, again, not that big a deal. We lost a bunch of sticks. I hate that, but I'm actually kind of glad that happened because that gave us an opportunity to see what happens when you mess with multiple animals at the same time. 
So with that in mind, I think we're going to leave it here for episode number two, a very deadly episode number two. Thank you for joining me and stay tuned for more Force of Nature.